Hi everyone, welcome to Concept in Medicine again. Today I'm going to be treating a recommended concept from one of our subscribers. As I always say at the end of every video, feel free to comment which concept you would like to see. In my next video, one of you did that. So we are going to be looking at that today. And that is bordered on Genway lesions and Osler's node. Let's talk about that. So you should know that Genway lesions and Osler's nodes, they are signs that can be seen on the hand in a case of infective endocarditis. But there are significant differences between the two signs. So let's look at them. If we take the Genway lesions, you should know that they are non-tender and they are hemorrhagic in nature and they can be described as purples. So they are non-tender hemorrhagic uh, purples uh, that you can locate at the various places. First of all, the palms, the soles, the tina and hypotina eminences. This is the tina, this is the hypotina eminences of the hand. Uh, the plantar surfaces of the toes. So if it's the foot, this is the toes, this becomes the plantar surfaces. And you should know that for the genway lesions, they are irregular, okay? They are irregular in shape and size. And they can be found in, if we take Jane, the second letter is A, meaning that it's going to be acute, acute form of bacteria endocarditis. Then we go ahead, you should know that again, Gen W has W, meaning that it occurs from days to weeks. You see it from days to weeks. Weeks start with W, so remember, Gen W, W. Okay? And the next thing is that the cause. They are as a result of a septic microemboli secondary to valvular uh, lesion. That's a lesion of the valves. Then, if you should culture the genway lesions, they are usually positive. Let's talk about the osler's nodes. The osler's nodes, different from genway lesions, they are tender. They are tender and they, their color is red purple. And in addition to that, they are usually slightly elevated above the skin. And most often, they will have a pale center. And for them, their size is regular. They vary from several millimeters to centimeters. And again, if you look at Osler's, the second letter in Osler is S, meaning in the infective endocarditis, you will elicit Osler's node in the subacute form of bacteria endocarditis or infective endocarditis. Then the location, where do you find them? You'll find them at the sides or tips of the fingers, which we call the finger pops, or the sides or tips of the toes. And again, the tina and hypotina eminences of the hand. Then for them, they would appear from hours to several days. And also, the cause mostly is going to be from vasculitis, inflammation of the blood vessels. That is uh, going to be emanating from the deposition of immune complexes or inflammatory uh, processes. And finally, finally, the cultures of Osler's node are usually negative. I believe that has cleared your worry. Thank you very much for sitting through this video. Kindly subscribe, share, like, and also feel free to comment which concept you would like to see in my next video. Bye-bye.